The crumbling walls. The whole park room. Don't think I want to be in Hey, perfect timing, bro. I was actually hoping to ask you for a little favor. As you know, your boy's debt free. Figured I'd make the most of my financial solvency and give the inn a total makeover. Thing is... You short on hands? Ah, uh, if only, my dear bro. Kind of the opposite problem, actually. Oh, Johnny, a name thou hast claimed is thine. But if thou truly Johnny B, then who, pray tell, am I? So yeah, it's your classic existential crisis. You get the idea. Uh... Beds have all been made. What's next? Huh? Oh, hey, bro. I, I, I told you to stay out of sight. You're just gonna confuse them. Aren't you supposed to be out shopping anyway? Go on, shoot. Aww. How come he gets to talk to my bro and I don't? So unfair. Uh, see what I have to deal with? <laughs> Think you're surprised? Imagine how I felt. Good day, sir. I saw your help wanted ad. Oh, that's... Say, you look awfully familiar. Too familiar. You look exactly like me. N no, please, stay back. Don't come any closer. Ah! Ah! Okay, that last part was just a joke, but... This wouldn't have anything to do with me using my ninja skills to create a bunch of clones, would it? Turns out a few of them managed to stick around somehow. And I think they might have even multiplied. <laughs> I mean, I never doubted my amazing abilities, but even I didn't realize I was capable of doing that. But hey, look on the bright side. At least you aren't short-staffed. Oh, but I am. I sent a crew to fetch materials and haven't heard a word from them since. Turns out I can't rely on myself. My other selves. I'm begging you, bro. You gotta help me out here. A Johnny's a wild beast that can't be tamed. You know that. There's no telling what sort of havoc these bad boys might wreak. Maybe we should lend him a hand? <sighs> Fine. Yes! I knew I could count on you, bro. I sent them off to the coast of Falls to look for materials for the renovations. I want to start there. Johnny sent me to check on you guys, help you find materials. Oh, that was pretty smart of me. No, no one, one knows, knows me better than myself. Uh, this whole synchronized talking thing is kind of creepy. We had actually already gathered everything we needed, but then we ran into some fiends and had to zipline for our lives. So unless they took our stuff for some weird reason, everything should still be right where we dropped it. You think? You'll help us get it all back, won't you, bro? The more pieces you pick up, the better off me and me will be.
That's the last of them, right? So, you find, find anything, anything, bro? Whoa! Honestly, we don't even remember collecting this much stuff. You're incredible! You got that right. Our bro's a cut above. I guess we better get this hall back to our palace, kinda, sorta, by the sea. Which means our work here is done, right? Well, since you asked, a couple of the other Johnnies went looking for parts to fix the boiler. Wait, there's more of you? Yep, and I bet they could really use your help. Think they were headed toward one of those old Republic-era factories. Tell them Johnny says hi! It's a thing we do. Johnny said that you needed my help. What? No, no I, I didn't. didn't. Wait, was, was it you? you? Not me. So, so you're, you're saying it was me? me? No, no way. way. You're, you're too, too stubborn, stubborn to ask for help. help. Hey, you talking shit about, about me? <laughs> you two are a riot. Have you thought about starting a two-man show? I bet it'd be a smash hit, right? So? Well, we were looking for a part to help us repair the boiler. But it turns out, nobody makes it anymore. Then we thought, why don't we just make it ourselves? So to do that, we're hunting for a transmuter chip. Any luck? None, unfortunately. There's supposed to be a Republic-era factory around here, somewhere. You're way better at finding stuff than us. Mind being our bloodhound, bro? <sighs> okay, I'll take it from here. So Sweet! <laughs> I heard about your plight. If you wish to learn more about the Republic of Junon, I recommend visiting Life Springs. The knowledge they contain will reveal the location of transmuter chips. Can't call it a seven-star hotel if we can't even offer a hot shower.
to make tracks is on Chocobat. Hello there! If you're looking to borrow one of our birds, you'll need to purchase a rental pass first. The best way to make tracks is on Chocobat. Thank you! I've registered your information in our system, so now you're free to borrow our birds whenever you like. So, this is the place, huh? Definitely couldn't have found it without you. Now all we need is for you to use a chocobo to sniff out that transmuter chip for us. We're looking for instructions on how to craft a boiler valve. And if you find one of those chips, feel free to just transmute a valve yourself. Are you trying to give us even more work? You two are the best! We don't need a chocobo. Ever. Right? Now giddy up, Johnny! All I'm saying is we'd find everything much faster if we cloned ourselves, too. No. Just think. You could start a mercenary franchise. And I could even help you set up a branch in Wutai. Plus, Shinra wouldn't stand a chance against a cloud army. You and your buster sword-wielding buddies and hack them to bits! Yeah, right. Oh, come on! Just imagine! <laughs> One cloud? Two clouds? Three clouds? Four clouds? Uh, I know you aren't much of a talker, but I figured at least one of you would say something. Not really digging this vibe. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, yeah, I think I'm good with just one cloud. The one and only. Baby, this is it! That boiler is as good as fixed! Hot, steamy showers in every room! <sighs> well, we should probably report back to Johnny now that we've bailed out all the others. Uh, actually... There's one more. <sighs> Where is he? Said he wanted to give the Hotel Royal Flair by putting the Tonberry King's crown on display. Last we heard, he was desert-bound. Hope he's not dying of thirst or knife wounds. You wouldn't mind going to check on him for us, would you, bro? Not at all. You're, You're the, the best. best! Well, we got a boiler to fix, so we're gonna head back. 
Our other life is in your hands, bro. Is that a mirage? I can't believe you're here, bro! Me neither. Well, I'm glad you are. You see, we're renovating the hotel. And I thought a Tonberry King's crown would give the place that palatial feel. But it's, uh, somewhere over there. Rumor has it, the Tonberry King lives somewhere nearby. But there's no way your boy Johnny can get through the desert on foot. Listen, bro, I don't know if you were planning to check out the dunes, but if you are, you'd really be doing me a solid if you brought me back that crown. Preferably in the most pristine condition possible. Say, I bet one of those towers could point us in the king's direction. Oh, your kindness is bringing me to tears, bro. I eagerly await your safe and fruitful return. Just don't keep me waiting too long. We Johnnies are delicate flowers that wilt in the desert heat.
appears that you've arrived at the lair of the Tonberry King. That crown belongs on a far statelier head than his, namely yours. I'd say it's high time we divest him of it. Think you're tough? Get him! Tonberry King protected. Commencing guidance protocol. Time's now long past. This content was home to the kingdom of Tonberry. The realm wants bright colors. But it will not last. And brought with them death and destruction. And Tonberry is perishing the war. To revenge himself upon those who raised his kingdom. Tonberry King swore upon his death to hunt their descendants. Please bear in mind. All these are the people of the folk are the council of the nation and the party. Who can say this really is Though this much is for certain. That hat of his would make anyone feel like royalty. And he's the head that wears the crown. But I'd say your neck is more than up to the task. Go on! Wow. What a fight! <laughs> <laughs> Brace yourself. You did it, Cloud! I now dub thee the new king of the Tonberries. By analyzing the king's biometrics, we can better understand Tonberry's social structures. Our research proceeds apace. Thank you, Cloud. Another crown snatched by the incomparable Yuffie. Let's hurry up and get this to Johnny. You took down the Tonberry King for us? Thanks, bro. On behalf of all Johnnies. So, where's the crown? on that baby it is positively legendary and we went through positively legendary trouble to get it for you don't worry the fruits of your labor are gonna be on full display man I can't wait to see the look on my face when I see this I'm gonna take this baby back to the hotel be sure to swing by when you have the chance I'm sure one of me will have something real nice waiting for you Good news, bro! All of me made it back in one piece! And it sounds like I really put you through the ringer. Sorry about that. <laughs> no biggie. So, what now? Want me to poof him? What? No, not yet. We're in the middle of renovating, and I'm gonna need all my hands on deck to finish. At the end of the day, I want to be able to say I remodeled this place all by myself. Right, Johnnies? Yeah, bro! So yeah, me and Mies are set on seeing this through the end. But once we're finished, it's gonna be the finest hotel in the whole world. Just you wait. Welcome, Welcome to the Johnny Seaside Inn Remake! Wow! So, what do you think, bro? I'm impressed. Without you guys, none of this would have been possible. You're absolutely right. You couldn't have done any of this without my incredible ninjutsu. Couldn't have done it without the J-Squad, either. <laughs> Don't go getting all sentimental. We were just doing what you would have done. You, you said it. We, we all want, want what's, what's best, best for this place. place. It's, it's our, our home. home. 
and, and none, none of us would be standing, standing here today if it weren't for you, you Johnny, Johnny Prime. Prime. Truly, you are the realest bro, bro. <laughs> well, I'm just happy to know that whatever trials await, we'll face them together. Uh, yeah, about that. Now that all the renovations are complete, I think it's time that we peace out. What? Don't worry, you got this, Johnny. Johnny? You don't need us anymore, Johnny. You've got you. Johnny! Johnny! Johnny us! Johnny's! You know, I couldn't stand listening to them bicker. And now, I already miss the sound of our melodious voice. I lost a part of myself today. You gonna let that stop you? Huh? You've got a hotel to run. That's true. I remodeled this place with my own 14 hands. I owe it to me and myself to see that our hard work doesn't go to waste. Oh yeah! I'm gonna be seven Johnnies in one! <laughs> Think one of you's more than enough. Oh, that means a lot coming from you, bro. Oh, almost forgot. I set up a little space to show off your collection. I'd love to showcase any rare or interesting artifacts you happen to come across. And rest assured, you'll be handsomely rewarded for them. I've got my heart set on becoming the best in the business, so look out, hotel industry! We'll attract guests from far and wide, with luxurious lodgings and unbeatable hospitality. But you'll always have a room with your name on it, my bro, cause when you're here, you're Johnny. Ha <laughs> ha!